In this video, I will go over arguments object. Basically, an arguments object is a local variable within all functions. This gives access to all the past parameters or arguments to a function. So let's say you had a function, I'll call it add up. And then I won't specify any argument because I want to add up any number of uh, parameters given to this function. So I'll write sum and set it to zero. And then I'll write a for loop, which will go over all the arguments object. So let i equals zero. And I'll run it until arguments dot length. So what arguments dot length does is it gives the total number of arguments passed to this function. And then I'll print the sum. So I'll do sum plus equals. And also, how you access each argument is with the, by writing arguments, and then in the square brackets, like a zero will access the first argument, one will the second, and two is third, and so on. So I'll put i since i is beginning with zero. It'll add up all the arguments that were passed. And then after the for loop, I'll just print out. And let us call the add up function with any number of arg arguments you want. Like I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4. So this should give 10. Also remember that although you're accessing each argument like an array, it is not an array. It doesn't have pop or push uh, array functions. So let's run this in your browser. And it should give 10 as the result. As you can see here. So basically, this is about it for arguments. All it does is allow you to be able to access the past parameters and not be restricted to like a n number of arguments so that you can pass any argument you want and then do some operation and provide the result so this is it for arguments object of functions if you have any questions or concerns do leave a comment if you like this video then remember to subscribe thank you